It turned around and went back into this county, headed back across the bridge. Yeah. Well, just as soon as the car got across the bridge, Sylvester Stallone said, well, no, I want something to eat, and I want something to eat from this town. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone turned around, and he began to walk back across the bridge toward the town. Well, immediately, 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 the sheriff slammed on brakes. And he, and he put his car in reverse and, 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 and swooped back down the way Sylvester Stallone was there. And, and, and he said, boy, then I told you not welcome in my town. He said, get in the car. He put him in the car. He put him under arrest for vacancy. And then he took Sylvester Stallone down to the, the jailhouse. And when he brought Sylvester Stallone down to the jailhouse, and he, and he didn't even take time to book him in, but he put him in a cell down at the bottom. And, uh, Sylvester Stallone being an ex-military veteran, he, 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 he put him down in the bottom. He said, well, boy, you look like you dirty. You look like you need to be washed up a little bit. Well, he took Sylvester Stallone. And, 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 and he took Sylvester and put him in the bottom. And then his other deputy said, well, we don't have a lot of fun with this boy here. So they took Sylvester Stallone. And they made him strip down, and they put him in a stall, a, a shower stall, and they took a water hose, and they began to shoot him down with water. But the more they began to shoot Sylvester Stallone down with water, the more flashbacks began to go in Sylvester's mind that reminded him of when he was in war. And, 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 and so, so after a while, you know, they kept on shooting him down with water. And so after a while, Sylvester Stallone got tired of it, so Sylvester Stallone began to fight his way out of there. Yeah. And as he began to fight his way out of there, he took out two deputies at the bottom. Right. He took out two deputies at the top. Right. He grabbed his knife and he got in his pants and he, he just kept on in a shirt that he could find to put on. Well, and he began to pursue his way out of town. Right. Well, the sheriff began to follow him, chasing him down in hot, hot speed pursuit. My thing to you this morning, and all of you in here this morning, is in here because you in pursuit of something. Well, I ain't got no help in here. You in pursuit of something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The police is in pursuit of a criminal, y'all. The politician is in pursuit of his next vote. The lawyer, he is in pursuit of his next client. The robber is in pursuit of his next victim. Yeah, yeah. The drug dealer is in pursuit of his next sale. Our children is in pursuit of an education. Someone is in pursuit of a better paying job. Someone is in, is in pursuit in, in, of that man, oh, that woman, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone is in pursuit and don't forget what they even in pursuit of. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and even the pastor is in pursuit this morning. The pastor is in pursuit of a soul to win. Rather, I'd rather pursue Jesus than silver and gold. So Shimeon, Shimeon sings a song, say, that I'm chasing after you. Without you, I don't know what I'll do. I got to have more and more and more. My question to you this morning, what are you chasing after this morning? You in pursuit this morning, but what are you chasing after this morning? Well, 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 because flesh craves happiness, y'all. Well, well, since flesh craves happiness, what is happiness? One say it's the thought of a good life. Another say it's freedom of suffering. Another say it's well-being. Another say it's prosperity. Another say it's flourishing. And another say it's just good old pleasure. Well, happiness can be like season, y'all. Y'all know the song, winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you got to do is just call. You know, happiness can be like that sometimes. Happiness can be measured minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year. But happiness only can be a short-term experience. But I still find myself up one day and down the next. So my heart is struggled with me. My head down, bowed down and soft. 
about the king seeing a handwriting on the wall. And it talks about, well, I need to go back to this story because I need to explain it. Since you didn't read it, I need to explain it. I got 15 minutes. Well, while the king, in, in old English term, the king and his horsemen and all, all the king's men, while they all were sitting around having a great party, the king got in pride and he went and got the golden vessels that they had taken out of Jerusalem and brought them down into the pot. And him and all his concubines, all his helpers and all his sidekicks, all his partners, they began to drink out of them the golden and, and, and silver vessels. So, and then they begin to worship out of gods of gold and of silver, of wood and of brass, of platinum, of aluminum, of copper. So God got angry. And God had a hand to begin to write on the wall. And when his hand began to write on the wall, the king got so worried, he got so scared that his knees began to knock together. You ever got that scared before when your knees just began to knock together? You know when you were laying in bed and a, a loud noise hitting you, woke up all of a sudden and you didn't know what it was and you were too scared to get up out the bed to go see what it was. And you were too scared to get on, to even get reach over to get the phone But what you did, you put the cover over your head and just blah, 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 you know, y'all you know what I'm talking about. You know, we can sit here in our car, but we know we've been there before. You know. I remember the time when, 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 when I was uh, out in the woods hunting in the middle of the night, hunting coons. And, and while I was out hunting coons in the middle of the night by myself, I had messed around and uh, going down in this swamp, and I was checking traps down in the swamp. About 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning, and I heard a loud crack like behind me somewhere. You know, the first thing that I could think about was, is it that werewolf that I used to see on the schedule room? You know, you know I mean, think about it, is that, that big grizzly that I see on, on the South by channel? I begin to think about, wait, is that Dracula? What is that behind me? That I got so scared and I'm looking around and trying to walk with that little old bitty single cell flashlight and I messed around and I stepped in a deep water hole. And I fell down in the water hole and I, I got even scared of it. I forgot I knew how to swim. And I, and I fell down in the water hole. But, but, but some way, somehow, I pulled myself together. And I was able to get up out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you find it well, see. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpreting of dreams and showing of harsh sentences and dissolving of doubt were found in this same day. Well, what we need in this time, one thing we need is spiritual discernment. Well, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14 says, but the natural man Receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish to him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Another thing we need is we need knowledge of. Daniel 5 and 7 say the king cried with a loud voice to bring in the astrologers, the, 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 the bring in the, the, the Chaldeans and, and, and the soothsayers. Another thing we need, we need understanding. Proverbs 8 and 14 say, Counsel, purpose, advice is, mind and sound wisdom, uh, success I am, understanding I have strength. So you must under have, understand that you have strength, y'all. But you can't have strength if you don't operate in excellence. Well, I'm going somewhere, y'all. Then another thing we need is wisdom. Uh, Luke 2 and 40 say, and the child grew, and white strong in spirit filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. God brings about the spirit of excellence in us. Well, how do God bring about the spirit of excellence through us? Y'all ask me that question. How do 
God bringeth about the spirit of excellence in us. I'm glad you asked. He brings about the spirit of excellence through suffering, y'all. You can't learn how to excellently praise God until you have suffered a while. You can't tell nobody about how to go through trials and tribulations if you were having suffering. That's the worst person you can talk to is somebody that would haven't been through anything. Because the advice they would always give you be bad advice. But when you talk to somebody that 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 that's been through some stuff, that been through some heartaches and pain, that had some sunshine, but then they had to cry in the rain, that person can help you make it through some trials and tribulations because they've been through something. Anybody been through anything this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then another is helping us to realize our weakness, y'all. You know, we can always put on our church face. Come to church and I like, bless the Lord. He's good and he's worthy to be blessed. We can always come in with our church face on. But how many of you this morning are hiding behind your mask this morning? How many of you done had to cry all night, Lord? How many of you done had to lay in the bed late in the midnight at hours and ask him, Lord, Lord, why me, Lord? Lord, why me? How many of you, Lord? How many of you have sitting there with a thorn a little pity party instead of giving God the praise and saying, Lord, I thank you for things being as well as they are. Lord, I thank you because this too shall pass. Lord, I thank you because you never let me down, Lord. Lord, I thank you because you may not come when I wrote you, but you always be right on time. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Yes, 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 yes. Also through someone sharing the word with us. Uh, and another is through prayer of others. How many know somebody prayed for you? Yeah. Somebody had you on their mind and they took time just to pray for you. I'm glad. I'm so glad. I can say it again. I'm so glad. I'm so glad somebody prayed for me. Because if somebody hadn't prayed for me, I don't know where I would have been this morning. But thanks be to God that somebody prayed for me. Even though my daddy died, mama knew how to pray. Even when mama was praying, auntie and uncle was still praying. I'm so glad, anybody got had this morning, I'm so glad somebody prayed for me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Then by giving us a hunger for holiness, y'all. No, holiness is not the holiness church that we heard about in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. But holiness is a lifestyle, y'all. That whether you're Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, uh, 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 Presbyterian, whatever denomination you is, you still got to live holy, y'all. Because so as God is holy, we got to be holy. Yeah, yeah. We can give God. We can give God perfection, y'all. So I don't want you to get that in your mind. Because Perfection is God's gift to us. But we can give God excellence. Because excellence, I will give back to God. Well, I got five minutes, y'all. Shut it on down. Well, perfection is our grasp for supremacy. But excellent it is giving Christ supremacy in everything. Perfection is an outward experience. But how many, how many, how many, how many know excellent is about inward surrender? Perfection is by passing the heart. But perfection flows through the heart. Perfection is by fear of failure. But excellence is driven by God's grace. Perfection will enslave you. But how, 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 how,
Yes, let's allow Jesus to lock his head in the locks of his shoulders. 